5 Recent Major UK Announcements and Changes to UK Immigration Rules 2023 Welcome back to our channel Traveller. The UK government has recently made many changes to immigration rules. These changes will be implemented in autumn 2023 when Parliament returns. In this video, we will look at 5 major changes in UK immigration rules that have been announced recently by the UK government. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel if you've not done so yet. Firstly, citizens of Dominica, Honduras, Namibia, Timor-Leste, East Timor, and Vanuatu are required to apply for UK visitor visas. With effect from 3 p.m. British summer time on the 19th of July 2023, and direct airside transit visas with effect from the 20th of July 2023. A four-week transition period applies for individuals who hold a confirmed travel booking arranged before this time. What is the impact of these changes? Citizens of the affected countries who intend to visit or transit the UK airside on their way to a further destination must now make an application to do so. A visa is now also required for creative workers with engagements in the UK totaling three months or less where this was not necessary previously. A visa fee will be payable. The fees for the most commonly used visit and transit visas are currently as set out below, but are due to rise in the near future, as confirmed in a recent government announcement. Secondly, changes to UK visa fees. There will be an increase in fees across a range of immigration and nationality routes, including for people coming to the UK to live, work and study, at a time of record high migration numbers. Specifically, this means an increase to the cost of most work and visit visas by 15% and increasing the cost of study visas. Certificates of sponsorship, costs, settlement, citizenship, wider entry clearance and leave to remain visas, and priority visas by at least 20%. The government is also equalizing the costs for students and for those using a priority service, so people pay the same whether they apply from within or outside the UK. Thirdly, the wider changes to fees. The Home Office has announced that it is removing remaining instances of the £19.20 fee for biometric enrollment, as well as the £161 fee charged for transfer of conditions in country. Fees are also being removed for customers amending details on their physical evidence of immigration status. And for a like-for-like -like replacement of a biometric residence permit, BRP, where the validity of the card has expired. These changes are expected to come into effect in the autumn. Fourthly, Immigration Health Surcharge Uplift. There will be increases to the rates of the Immigration Health Surcharge. Subject to final confirmation and the passage of the necessary legislation. The main rate will increase to £1,035 and the discounted rate for students, their dependents, those on youth mobility schemes and under 18s will increase to £776. The fifth, UK opens a second ballot for Young Professionals Scheme Visas for Indians. The British government on Tuesday opened its second ballot under the UK India Young Professional Scheme for Indians. Aged between 18 and 30 years with graduate level qualifications for visas to the UK. The ballot, which closes on July 27, offers eligible young Indians the opportunity to live, work or study in the UK for up to two years. The second ballot of the Young Professional Scheme is now open the British High Commission in New Delhi tweeted. If you are an Indian national between 18 to 30 years of age with a graduate or postgraduate qualification, consider applying for the India Young Professionals Scheme visa. Ballot closes at 1.30 p.m. on July 27, it said. There are a total of 3,000 places available under the scheme for the year 2023 and UK visas and immigration, UKVI said that most places were given in the first ballot, which took place in February. The remaining places will be chosen at random from this month's ballot. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more UK immigration news. We will see you in our next video.